What's up everybody, welcome back to another video, and of course, welcome back to another video. Wait, 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 I just said that twice, so anyway, what was I saying? So by the way guys, I'm on my Iron Man, but yeah guys, this NPC here is named Bingo. And of course, by the way, it says, it's time to place Goblock Bingo. If you join, you have 7 days to complete as many tasks as you can on a fresh, temporary profile. Complete personal tasks and work towards community goals to earn bingo points. At the end of the event, your bingo profile will be deleted. But don't fret, all the bingo points you can earn during the event will stick around. You can spend these points in the bingo shop on any profile. Come back soon to join the 2021 to bingo, bingo event. So here we go, right here. So we have a bingo card right here. So by the way, guys, oh my gosh, <laughs> they're so hard. Oh my gosh, that is, this one is literally so hard, I mean, but yeah, I guess I have to go ahead and start a new temporary bingo profile, so yeah, I think by the way guys, this is really, 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 really different, I mean, this is temporary, this is a temporary game mode, well of course, this bingo is very, very interesting, and of course, I just got a bridge all the way to the other side, so I think I'll see you then. Alright guys, so let's have, hop into the portal. So by the way guys, I think if we head into our... Hold on. I think we go to the bingo NPC. Welcome of course to the bingo events. So I think, I think let's go ahead and check the bingo card, I suppose. Maybe. Hold on. Bye bye. Oh my gosh. This long talk. This long talk is definitely, it's definitely unfortunate, I have to say. So, we have Bingo Shop, of course. So, we have a Bingo Display, um, Collection Display. Bingo Ring? What? It's an accessory? Wait, is there a Bingo Talisman? Oh, wait, there is... Oh, there is a Bingo Talisman. There is no Bingo Artifact, because, yeah, I don't know why there's no Artifact or Relic. But, yeah. I think the talisman is going to be really important because I want damage. Alright, so let's go ahead and of course see our bingo card. So here we go. We have... Haven't even reached this... Reached this goal, so... By the way... Hmm. Gain 4 million Heart of the Mountain XP. What is this? Craft a super compactor 3000. I mean, I already did. So, I think I think we should definitely go ahead and do this. Equip seven unique accessories. I think we should get the accessories first. All right, so by the way, I'm just gonna sell all this and then purchase myself a rookie hoe. So of course the rookie hoe will actually gain me more profits, of course. So of course I'm actually trying to get uh seven unique accessories here. So this is gonna be interesting. I already got farming too. But let's say I think I only need to go ahead and uh wait until uh five hundred wheat. So I believe I believe so. I already got the harvesting two recipe right here. Alright, so we finally got the recipe for the farming talisman. So, by the way guys, I think we need 5 hay bales, that is. Yes, we got it. And then of course, we should be able to craft this accessory. So, it's 4 seeds by the way. There you go, that's 1 out of 7. Yeah, 7. We need 6 more accessories. So, I think we could just sell, and of course, to get a head start, we could just go to the hub. And of course, buy some, buy some accessories from the adventurer NPC. Hopefully that will speed up the process. So here we go. This is the adventure. We could just sell our materials that we have so far. So I get that we actually have 700, 700 coins because we actually need to go ahead and get more coin, get more accessories. So the zombie talisman and the skeleton talisman is something that's going to be really, really good. So I don't know what else. I don't really know what else there is. I suppose that there is a talisman of coins, so I might go for that next. Because the word Fitty Talisman is 10,000 oak wood, and of course, I wouldn't be able to get it today. I mean, I mean, I want to be able to 
get those points as quickly as possible. So, oh wait, wait, I should get myself a rookie pickaxe because yes, I'm gonna actually need it to, to mine some coal here. So yeah. And of course, by the way, uh, maybe get myself an undead sword, even though I am going for accessories, because I know mobs are just going to attack me, I mean. That's just going to be extreme, and it really won't be that nice. And I believe we can just, we can just go ahead, get ourselves the undead sword, and hopefully reform. Alright, so I got myself the undead sword, so, I mean, to be honest though, you just gotta talk to the NPCs first, but yeah. Right here, we just have to reforge the undead sword. Um, right here. Hopefully this is good. Fair, I guess I'll take it. It's, at least it's better than something like Odd. Odd is seriously the worst. Alright, so here I am in the gold mine. Well, because, yes. Uh, of course. So, by the way, I just want to see if I can actually go ahead and, of course, find a very... Find, and of course, I do this very simple accessories. Cause I mean, when it comes to pets, I mean, I can only get like two pets, like as of right now. I mean, the bee pet and pretty much the grandma wolf. Other pets, I need is, I need an egg. I need an egg pretty much. So, so I mean, the pets is probably going to be the hard part. So yeah, on the broad side though, at least I can just mine here, and I think I should go ahead and. We stay here until I hit mining level 5. Oh yeah, so by the way, I actually have to put telekinesis on my pickaxe because I'm actually planning to go for the magnetic, the magnetic, uh, hold on. Magnetic talisman, hold on. That's the wrong pickaxe. I, I can't believe it. I just wasted 100 coins by putting telekinesis on my rookie pickaxe. This is a waste. I'm probably screwed. Oh wait, I forgot there's there's probably an accessory in the Sugar King collection. Yes, I suppose. So we have like three, four, five, and then six. Yeah, that would be six. And then we actually have to obtain seven of the accessories in order to actually get a bingo point. I don't I don't really know if everybody here has the same bingo card. Because if, if they're different, then it's probably the best. If if everything is the same bingo card, then it would have been the worst. It's seriously, though, the worst. Literally. I mean, to be honest, though, I'm just farming Lapis Zombies right now because, yeah, I need a level 5 in combat in order for me to access the Blazing Fortress. So, that's what I'm going to do. If we get a piece, that's going to be very, very good. Alright, so here we go. We are inside the Pigment's Den, so... All that there is rest of like right here. I'm just going to wait till we actually do the transition. I mean, to be honest though, I have been missing some fairy souls, unfortunately. And I mean, and I mean, I think a bingo, I think a bingo like panel requires me to actually obtain those fairy souls. But I mean, we need like, I think well, for one of the cards, I need like 50 fairy souls. So I should be able to get the ones from the deep caverns. Alright, so I found the perfect spot, literally the perfect spot to mine all those emeralds, so I think, I think of course uh, I should get some, should have gotten some diamond armor here, but I mean, there is a good spot to actually mine diamonds here, kind of, I mean this is a branch towards, this is a branch towards the diamonds right here, so I think let's, let's just go ahead and craft all the diamond armor we can. Uh oh, mine was zombie. On the bright side, this is undead, so. On the bright side, it's undead, so yeah. Unfortunately died, but I mean. Unfortunately died, but I did get the recipe for the talisman of coins. So. So I think the recipe here is this. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. We need seven unique accessories, so. I believe we could try seeing if. We could try to see if uh, we can try getting another accessory, but I mean, what I do know is that we actually have to go to, we do actually have to go to the um, farming islands for 
another one of those accessories and the blazing fortress for the yeah another one so surprisingly this wasn't enough but we can actually put harvesting on our rookie host actually we don't even have the enchanting levels to do so so i really won't really won't do anything about it all right guys so i think we can definitely sell these things so we're now at a grand total of 2,533 coins, but we're actually just going to spend it on an accessory. I mean, this is a bingo profile, so yeah, most likely. I don't know what accessory we'll be buying it on, so we can either do the Village of Fady Talisman or the Mine of Fady Talisman. I think the Mine of Fady Talisman is probably going to be a good pick because I like the texture, but overall, I think... I think both the abilities are useless, but I just like the texture of the Mine of Fady Talisman. It looks like an actual diamond. All right, so here we are. Right, we actually just have to mine some sugar cane. So right now, it doesn't even matter how we mine it. So we can basically harvest it very quickly. I think it's 250 sugar cane we need for for the speed talisman recipe. So we need the recipe, and then we also need the materials to craft it. So, but I mean, the amount of materials is less than the amount of materials to unlock the recipe. So. That is a good thing. So, so if I remember, wow, it's okay. So I think we need a hundred sugar cane to unlock the sugar cane minion. But yeah, I remember the time when sugar cane collection was pretty slow for me. I mean, it was pretty extreme. I'm gonna say. But I mean, Jorah, we need way more than four stacks if we want to get the recipe for the speed talisman. There we go, speed talisman. So. By the way, guys, I think we need 12 of each to craft the Speed Talisman. There we go, our sixth unique accessory. To be honest, though, I'm not sure what what else what else there are except for the Village Affinity Talisman and, of course, the Potion Affinity Talisman. However, though, I will need to get Combat Level 5, but I think it's really cool. I think it's cool anyway, so why not go for it? Wow, I actually got a Lapis Armor Just Play. That is very, very cool. I mean, at least I get some extra protection. Well, I'm glad the first drop I even got was was an armor piece. And oh my gosh, I do have a dupe. But at least, wait, what's the NPC sell price? Whoa, that's a 2K. I guess that's pretty easy. I don't have to go to the Nether anymore. If I get another piece, I don't really have to go to the Nether. That's very very cool. All right, guys. So the best hope. After selling like everything in my inventory except for my And to be honest though, I just got two lapis crystals. I don't know why. But yeah. After selling this, this should put us at 2540 coins. So yeah, right here. So right here, this the server is kinda lacking, no one. Alright guys, accessory number seven. We have the mine affinity talisman. Or Village of 80 Talisman, actually, so. I just made myself a mistake, so. To prevent to prevent further lag, I might as well just go ahead and go into a new lobby. Alright guys, so unfortunately though, I just wasted too much time. So, I believe. So, I believe these main. I have obtained those before, but I mean, harvest, 10 million crops, I mean. Although I did reach, although I did reach this goal, I mean, I only harvested like um, 1,500. Yeah, that's that's pretty much all I got. But yeah, in addition to that, there was also a Jacob's ticket uh goal as well. So, so yeah, once we get farming ten, we can attend contests. So I mean, we don't even have to, we don't we don't even have to like get a bronze medal. We could just harvest a few crops, get the get the tracker on there and i'm pretty sure we could just leave it off and do some others and there we go that's personally a jacob's ticket i don't even have to do that much farming i mean even if we weren't i mean we'd have to i, mean, I may i may not be able to to get a top score because i mean i won't be active for hours but yeah healthy reach 500 health and i think fairy souls are going to be fairy souls are it's probably gonna be lost. So amber armor, maybe not, because now everybody's seriously going to be doing magma boss now. 
Obtain six unique pets. I'm not sure about that. Hmm. Ultimate enchant book. I mean, I have to start doing dungeons. Deal 12,000 damage. Okay, so I believe the next ones I'm gonna do is obtain Jacob's ticket, uh, obtain 50 fairy souls, uh, I don't know. And very much, I should probably just go ahead and. I should probably just go ahead. Hold on, no. Blazes are gonna be dangerous, I'm gonna say. And also because, yes. Oh, yes, because if blazes can actually shoot fire, that is quite unfortunate. So, I believe that, and 50,000 Royal Rabbit Collection, I don't know, skill average, this one's going for Jacob's Ticket, skill average, and Fairy Finder are ones that I might go for next. And that will hopefully be some free bingo points. So we have a bingo shop here. We need way more bingo points. 100 bingo points. What? Wait, what? No. No. I don't think the book of stats is really necessary. I mean, and we need bingo rank as well. This is so hard. I mean, this is probably going to be very, very hard. I'm not sure about the rewards. These are may way more expensive. I'm gonna say 100 bingo points and 150 bingo points. I may not be active for like a very, very long time. So I wasted a long time doing doing this. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed episode one of High Pixels Skyblock Bingo Game Mode. So keep in mind that this is a temporary game mode. And of course, throughout the way, I will still be documenting, documenting, I mean, not really, just creating latch plays based on the bingo because I hear it is temporary and I think it is a new game mode that should be within our memories and of course of course as I was saying thank you all so much for watching and we will see you in another video bye